Hey everybody, this is uh, this is gonna be a little bit different of a video, actually. Um, we've got clips going on because it's a DVD oriented video, and I just wanted to take a second to kind of share with you guys the whole reason why I'm not gonna be leaving this game anytime soon. Um, when I first got into this game, it was probably about uh, 2017, I think, and there it was just a special time to be playing this game because of all the glitches and everything and more importantly all the people that we had um, in the community at the time specifically like youtubers and streamers that were doing things that you know because it was a new game and nobody had ever played around with it not not to the extent of of the family that got created not just on twitch but also through the youtube family community or the youtube community as well um when i got the game it was mostly because of michael myers i'm sure there was some killer that everybody probably a licensed one or just the gameplay that you saw on youtube um that brought you into the game and we got in here and we found something special because pretty much every game was like being first person in a horror movie and that wasn't really too much wasn't really anything like that available at the time not not really um there are a few things here and there but it it just nothing really stacked up to Dead by Daylight, at least for me anyway. Um, and then you got people on YouTube that were making the entire thing special. Um, for me personally, when I was installing the game, I found people like Tide Time and Noob3 and Monto and our beloved Puppers. May he, may he perpetually live on. I'm not even going to say rest in peace, but he, he's always there with us. If you play Dwight at all and you've got the bald head with the with the beard, then there's a little bit of puppers still out there, you know. Um, but and later on with Aaron and Otz, even with the flack that Otz has been getting lately, um, these are the people that make it special. You know, they show us different things and lead us on to different perk builds. And in a lot of cases, I know with me personally, watching, you know, um, puppers and Monto, it's Monto especially, is basically the mad scientist of the entire community. Um, at that time, anyway. Uh, Noob3, with the constant joking and the drunk by daylight streams, I mean, these guys pretty much led me into what I'm doing right now. And I know that they were leading a lot of you out there as well. But um, it just seems like even with everything that has kind of mounted up recently with all the you know the hackers that have always been there but they're a little more prevalent nowadays um with the hackers and the issues that we've been having with the game recently and the constant glitches and you know finding new and inventive ways to keep inventing this game over and over and over again um it just kind of you know i know it can get kind of daunting sometimes but we never leave and even if some of us take vacations from it you know which has been the case on numerous occasions with several of my friends that have you know taken a year or two off of it we always end up coming back so you know i just basically wanted to take a take a second to maybe remind you guys and maybe even remind myself a little bit uh why we're here and why we're probably not going to be going anywhere anytime soon which is not to say that Behavior doesn't still have a lot to take care of, because they do, but they're getting to it. The rework with Billy is a prime example of that. And uh, I hope you guys stick around, and I'm going to stick around too, and we'll just see where this goes to. But um, thanks for sticking around long enough to hear me blathering, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.